Good morning, everyone. This video is a direct result of us being at Disneyland May 31st and our visit to Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge. A couple things to consider. If you have a reservation, you have to check in two hours before. And this is done at the launch bay in Tomorrowland. And all guests have to be there. You need your code, your IDs, etc. Rule update. Strollers have to be a certain size now. 31 by 52. And there's no more wagons, no more smoking, and obviously no weapons. So, what did we learn? There is a definite order that must be taken in order to benefit from Galaxy's Edge. You definitely don't want to do Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run or the Cantina until you have just done the Droid Depot, the lightsabers, Docking Bay 7, Ronto Roasters, the Milk Stand, all that stuff. So we went there and we got into the Millennium Falcon ride. Well, it broke down. So. We were thinking, okay, there's got to be a better way to do this. And, and sure enough, there is. Because Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run, they only look at your credentials upon entry to the ride. So that's the, there's only one check of credentials. Because of that, everything else is going to be a lot more easier to accomplish. You know, where you can do multiple things. And if you've got multiple people... You can do all kinds of stuff all at the same time. So I recommend you get all your shopping and dining out of the way before you do Smuggler's Run. And maybe even do that at the last of your um, your reservation. So Docking Bay 7 shuts down early. So if you have a late reservation, 8 p.m. to midnight like we did. You need to make sure you uh, do docking bay 7 food before 10.30 p.m. Ronto Roasters seem to be open a little bit later. But again, they only have turkey jerky and a wrap. So if you want something a little bit more substantial, you're going to want to go to docking bay 7. Milk stand seems to be open later as well. And just make sure you get all of your shopping done. You know, prior to leaving, the um, cantina line uh, continually shuts down and reopens throughout the night. So if you can't get in it right away, you come back to it. Have somebody, like, save your place in line while you go shopping. That would be my recommendation. You know, um, if you have more than one person in your party, have them get in line at the cantina. You'll find out how to get in that line by watching. If they shut down the end of the line, watch the guy at the end of the line. He'll wave his stick uh, with the green side up, indicating you can join the line. And then everybody rushes in. And then, you know, they will lock it off again. So you just have to watch for that. Um, they'll tell you how to do it. If you ask the cast member, they'll tell you. So... My recommendation when you first get in, get some souvenirs and, and do your milk stand thing um, while you're in line at the cantina because you, you can um, you can do that during that. And then after you've done, you know, the food at the Docking Bay 7 and your shopping, get in line at the cantina. Um, but make sure you've got at least two hours. Um, and then... After you've enjoyed the cantina, it should only take you like 45 minutes or so. They're limiting drinks to two per per person. 
So just make sure you're aware of that. Um, and then after the, after the cantina, get in the, the Millennium Falcon ride. And by then, the, the line should be pretty short. Uh, so you could hit it a couple times, probably. Um, if not, that's, you know, that's something. They, they were also marking our wristbands so we could only do the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run once. Uh, so just something to be aware of. And then if the, if the ride breaks down, there's a chance of, uh, you know, it taking a really long time. So that's the only thing that you that you really can't control. Everything else you can kind of control. So you can control, you know, going to get food first. You can control um, doing your explorations and shopping first. You can um, control going to the canteen and knowing it's going to take two hours. You can control that it's going to take about 45 minutes once you're inside um, the outside line usually is about an hour, hour and a half. The inside is about 45 minutes. And so you can control all of these aspects. The only thing you can't control is the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. It has the most unpredictability of everything in the, in the new land. So that's something to be aware of. Um, if you run into a problem, uh, do not go to Main Street and go to City Hall. We did that, and we were given a, car, a card to contact the corporate customer service. If you have a problem with Galaxy's Edge, apparently you need to go to a cast member in Galaxy's Edge and ask to speak to management there. Um, they supposedly are taking care of it inside the, the land instead of uh, where most people do at City Hall. So hopefully this helps you with your reservation to Galaxy's Edge.